Matthew. I think a year ago today, I talked about the quarterback situation the 49ers is fraught with terror. Mm -hmm. And, like, for a lot, and, and I give Jimmy credit for not only playing pretty well, but making sure that it was n not fraught with terror. Like, he did, his, he did a good job. Like, it was hard and it was complicated and... And, uh, and I really appreciate his spirit of how he did that. That was a that was a, was a tough spot, mm -hmm. and he and he and he did. I think he, you know, did a good job of. And so here we are today with a full commitment. It seems from the 49ers to say Jimmy is going to move on. So we get that part. Is it really full? I don't know. I think that there's still a chance that Jimmy's on the team, and I think that we need to just recognize that um, until Trey takes it. He doesn't have a chance yet, so you can't say it's not Trey's fault. He hasn't had a chance to take it yet. Uh, and I know we're going to get back to Baker Mayfield. Okay, I, figure, yeah, yeah. I know where you're going, sure, so yeah, let's yeah. just uh, yeah, let's move into let's it. Cut to the chase. Um, right? So until Trey has a chance to take it, they need to make sure that they've got this covered. And I don't know. Whether, and, and do you pay twenty-four million dollars to have the coverage? Like that's are all things that are way above you and I's pay grade. But mm -hmm. until Jimmy's gone, we got to know that Jimmy's personality is capable of coming back into that locker room and not causing too much grief. Uh, but I don't think that's going to happen. So if you're looking for a place for Jimmy Garoppolo, if they don't cut him, because in the end, if they go to camp and say, you know what, we cannot do this with Jimmy in this locker room because Jimmy is beloved in this locker room. How can Trey have a chance to go do, be as good as good? We're going to cut him. Fine. Then he's going to go find a job. People will pick him up the next day. But if we're going to trade him, if to your point of Baker Mayfield, going back to the original question, what does this allow you to do? The, the Browns have a problem. They have no quarterback. Yeah. So there's a possibility that they would trade, but I think they might wait for him to just get cut. Yeah. And so I don't know, short of cutting Jimmy, if there's a if there's something to get done. Yeah. Is, the, yeah. is the long answer for yeah. a very short question. Well, I mean, it, it's tough to put yourself into Jimmy's shoes, but if you're Jimmy Garoppolo, you would want to be like – Give me a resolution now uh, for the start of training camp, right? Uh, well, he... well, hold on a second. First of all, players, we historically don't get to, you know, we can complain, but we don't get our, we generally get our way. The second thing is he is coming off surgery, and no one knows exactly what they're getting. So there's no way that Jimmy can say, hey, treat me right. Well, no one can treat you right until we see you throw the football. Yeah. But once we see you throw the football, I think things will pick up. Mm -hmm. And because uh, they, you know, he's got a great arm and everybody knows if it's if it's back, then we can talk. about. There's nothing to talk about until he throws the football. Yeah. Uh, last time we spoke, you talked about you were 100 percent certain that Trey Lance has what it takes from the shoulders up, understanding where the ball should go. Now it's a matter of delivering the ball. After that, I asked Trey Lance if he and if you and he have talked and he said that yes yes so do you have a relationship with yes Trey Lance? and i well i had one i mean i make myself available to jimmy i make myself a little tr to trey like hey, look if i could ever be helpful and because trey and i had it on a couple of chances to kind of go back and forth with some questions and answers there's nothing i can do with the offense i can't say hey look this offense that i know so intimately which i do not yeah. i'm not gonna but i can give you some perspective i can give you some you know if nothing else a sense of support you know and so i've enjoyed uh, those those conversations, and I want to have some more with Trey if he's willing to, because I think that there's a place, carefully, for, uh, that I can be helpful. And um, look, you know, the game has come to me in some ways, right? It's like I've been out for 20 years, but now the game is my, <laughs> it's my game. Like have I want to been out for 20 years. It's been 20. It years. seems like it was like five years. I ago. know, and it's uh, <laughs> that's a whole other problem. But um, but I would love to be helpful if there's a place to be. Uh, last thing I want to do is come in hot trying to talk about stuff that and Trey's like I don't know what you're talking about you know so very carefully I'll, I'll, I'll be as helpful as I can be and he seems to be he said that he's very receptive to anything so I to... think you got to be careful right because uh, that he is that kind of a, a, a spirit and I appreciate that a sponge you know and so because of that you got to be careful you don't just start throwing stuff out you know mm -hmm. be careful about that but anyway um, I think that uh, Trey's got and I say this for Jimmy as well if I was going to play quarterback today in the NFL, and I get around like uh, Monday nights, I, so I can I can have some authority about where I would want to play if I could pick a spot. And it's not because I was a 49er for 15 years. Or, well, I want to say 15, but it probably wasn't 15. But but 
I would no question, number one, run to this, to Kyle's offense, to this team, to the spirit of what John's built, number one. 